What? Why is it that you 100 believe, 100 percent believe that you can beat the likes of Michael Myers or Jason, but seem to can't go toe to toe with them young niggas? Record. Shut up. The reason why I believe I can beat Michael Myers, Jason, or anybody like that is because 100 percent of the time, like I said, I'm never gonna doubt myself. So because of it's six seven, six five, three hundred pounds of straight muscle and, and is immortal, you want me to sit right there and think to myself, I can't beat him? My that's not clip farming. The way I was raised, my dad always told me, you should never in your life sit right there and say another man can beat you. So why would I sit right there and sit right there and say another man can beat me? I don't give a fuck if it's Prime Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather, John Jones, motherfucker Michael Myers or Jason. Like I said, if I lose, he was the better man that day. I have no problem admitting that. But I'm not going to sit right there and put myself at a mental crutch because you're the ass and you don't believe in yourself. A lot of you don't believe in yourselves. That's why you can't make it anything that you want to do. You have to sit right there and say you're going to be the best. Basketball player, football player, boxer, this, that, and the third. I'm not going to let no man beat me. You got to think like that. And if you lose, you have to be man enough and be humble enough to be like, this was the better man that day. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about having too much pride or, or too much ego or saying... If I'm not going to put myself at a mental crutch before I even see what I'm capable of. You sitting right there saying, Michael Jordan gonna beat me one-on-one. -on -one. You gonna lose because your men's mentality is 90% of the battle. So if you hop in, right, and you think to yourself, oh, I'm about to lose already. You didn't already lost. So you're gonna have a mental, because he's gonna sit right there and be like, I can beat him. So you don't know that you if you can beat LeBron James one-on-one. -on -one. What if one of y'all really played LeBron James one-on-one -on -one and really thought to yourself, I'm going to beat him, and then you actually did? Then you'll be like, oh, I am capable of that. You gotta think that that's why a lot of you don't that's why a lot of you don't make it in shit. you gotta have that mentality that you're the best in the room no matter who's standing in that room that's how you gotta think that's not having too much pride it's not having too much ego you have to think like that you have to think i'm not worried about nobody else i'm the best so someone who is 5'9 130 with no fighting skills can't beat prime mike tyson i don't know what that man is capable of i don't give a fuck if he's 5'9 i don't give a fuck if he's 5'2 i seen a 5'2 motherfucker knock out a 6'6 it don't matter who it is. You act like Mike Tyson. If you cut him open, he would look different. Mike Tyson is human just like everybody else. He bleeds it and eat just like everybody else. So you don't know what that 5'9 cable motherfucker is capable of. Uh, would you ever do community work for free to help the community? Man, I ain't doing that shit, man. No, boy. Would you try? Hold on. Let me get a gun right quick. Hold on, chat. He talking some shit. Give him a week. Like I said, would you try BBC? Let's get him gone for a little bit. Hey, Uncle T. Is it gay to be clingy to your girl? And what do I do? She says, I am too clingy and she can't hang handle all the clinginess, but she still likes the clinginess. What are you talking about? This said, is it gay to be attracted to your woman? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. CW Flash, like sometimes the questions you ask me actually like irritated me a little bit. How is it gay to be, a, be around your women, your woman? What are you talking about, bone neck? No, it is not gay to be clingy to your girl. And what do you do if she says, I'm being too clingy? Maybe back. Yo, hold on, bro. I'm about to get mad, bro. Why do females like to copy their friends? Because they can't. I mean, I mean, bro, I ain't even gonna say nothing. You see, nigga said, no, say it. The reason why a woman can't like to copy their friends and do everything their friends do and they let their friends influence their decision is because women are like a pack of eight wolves. They're, they're, they're pack animals, which means they got one alpha, one woman that they look at. The one, this, this I'm, I'm gonna break down, I watch this, I'm gonna break down the woman friend group. Watch this, watch this. Nigga be like, what? Watch how I break this down to the science of the T. You ever notice there's about six girls in the friend group? And there's always one in the forefront that's the loudest, the most hoist, the most I don't care, the most with social media. Anyone has to think about me. If I want to suck 16 dicks in one night, I can do that, and no one's going to take, take like judge me. And they always try to influence their friends. They should have the same mentality. That is the one woman that they look up to in that group. And women are pack animals, which means they're going to follow this woman to a T because this woman shows them, look how strong I am as a woman. I have 30 bodies at the age of 19 and I'm so womanly and free. And then low key, all the other girls think in their head, this is not right, low key. I shouldn't follow her, but they do it anyway because they can't come up with their own brain. When I say that women like to copy their friends, it's more so not copying their friends. It's more so they're copying this one specific woman. Because she has the confidence that the other ones want about, but here's the thing. You can adapt that same confidence, but you don't have to do the same thing she's doing. You don't have to sit right there and have a full, full on bukake for your birthday, for your, for your 20th birthday party. I mean, if you invite me to it, but I come through, I mean, potentially, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, as long as I go first, but I'm not gonna sit right there and say it's what you should be doing. And I know that you definitely is not gonna get wifed. So you gotta think about it like that. Women like to copy their friends because, like I said, there's a lot of things they want to do, but they just don't want to get judged for it. Women, one of the, one of women's biggest fears is being judged. Fuck being cheated on. Women know they're going to get cheated on. Everybody know they're going to get cheated on. One of women's biggest fears is getting 
judged. That's what women absolutely specifically hate is getting judged and getting the wrong judgment put on them. But the other thing, the crazy thing is women hold other women to standards that they won't even follow themselves. And I think that's crazy. I don't think, I think that's crazy. Women hold up, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, so you got to think about it like, Women will say you show shouldn't do this as a woman, you shouldn't Latino. do this, like this, and the third, but they don't even do that. They say, show me big booty Latinas. Come on, bro, stop. Before you actually get me switched down right now in my room. But my biggest fear is being kidnapped and assaulted. Thanks, though. Why you just turn that shit so real? Obviously, you said that. Who, who, who wants to be kidnapped and assaulted? I don't want to walk down the street going to my house and next thing you know, a nigga put a bag over my head. And I'm not, I'm in another different country. That's anyone's biggest thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't want to get assaulted. I don't be walking down the street. I see a young with a knife poke me up because I got the wrong hat on. <laughs> that's my, that's my, my biggest fears too. Like I don't want to get assaulted or kidnapped. I like to live where I'm at. My you feel me, shit. My brother, you saying the same thing. I don't want me like my name. I don't want me like my name. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's just my opinion. What's your opinion on Danny? Mama Bear 66 suck my big old BBC and one hope Gucci gives you herpes. By the way, sorry TBBC for my previous comment. The fuck, boy? Like he said, would you, what would, would you rather go back in time to meet your ancestors or go in the future future to meet your great-grandchildren? I'm going to keep it honest with y'all. If time travel was ever real and they said you only get two two trips, you can go back and forward or front or, I mean, back and come back, or you can go in the, in the future and come back, they better not let me go back. Because if they let me go back with a G36C, M4 with an ACOG site, one Gen 17, Gen 3 to Gen 5, don't matter what a switch. And some binoculars, I guarantee you, slavery would never exist. <laughs> I guarantee you. If they let me go back, and I get, I have to fight against that take 30 minutes to reload because they got to sit right there and put a ball in the musket and shit like that. And the first time a nigga say, hey boy, what you doing? And then, <laughs> soon as a nigga say something crazy, they gonna be like, this is a god. So when they say, hey boy, what you doing in this part of town? Blame. Switch him down. So when they say, hey, what's he doing? Blame. Boom, and everybody straight down. Give me three magazines, 350 round drums, a G36C, binary triggers, and Gen 5s. I guarantee you, by time 2024 come around, black people might be in flying cars. I'm switching. I might be the first president. When, when did George Washington get, uh, in office, was it 1746 or some crazy, 1792 or some crazy? When was George Washington in, in, in the office, my When was it, like 17 something? Send me back there. It was in the seven, I don't give a fuck when it was, 17 something. Send me back there, 1776. I don't give a you send me the 1776. Oh, 1738. It don't matter when you send me to. If you send me, if you send a like me back, as soon as they see me walking down the street, with the drip I got on, this got on some down on, on a wig that looked like this. A see me, and, he, and the first time he look at me crazy, I'm gonna say, hold on, man. What you looking at me like that for? I'm gonna let him slide. But once the next say something, oh yeah, this leg is gone. I guarantee you, everybody around be like, you know what? I actually do like, man, what's going on? Hey, you, you a good, hey, I with you, man, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Maybe you are a good person, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, God damn right. So go ahead and take the shackles off him, 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 her, and all the way down to the next 52 states. You can't send me back there, you know what I'm saying? Don't send me back in, in, in my like that, because I'm going to keep it real. And here's the thing. If you send me back, like I said, I'm going to test some temperature. I want to see if, if Julius Caesar like that, Napoleon like that. I'm going to check his jaws. Now, besides that, go in the future to meet your great-grandchildren. Man, f*** them kids, man. Good man, that's, that's two generations after me. Like they want, I wanted them to live their life. I rather going back in time and, and see my ancestors. Man, f them kids, man. I'm already dead by then. That's two generations, man. Talking about going see your great grandchildren, man. F them niggas, man. Why gotta see my great grandchildren? They're gonna be dead by then. Let them live. Is it gay for a grown ass man to walk around the house like Winnie the Pooh, free balling only shirt on? Absolutely not. I live in my house. I walk around my house, butt ass. I already told y'all until I stream. I be in this. I told y'all before. I be literally in this specific gaming chair, ball sack stuck to the leather material of this seat. Turning on OBS, camera is on. No shirt, no pants, no underwear, no socks. Sitting right here, ball sack on the seat, sticking to the. Shit. It's like this, getting stuck. I'm sitting right here, boo, booty butt naked. I walk around my house, booty butt naked. 
Aunt you look at me. She see my my shit slowly rising up, getting bricks. She like, what the? I'm like, what? I love you. Of course, when I get around you, my shit starts to lift up. My shit randomly gets bricked. I'm, I can't stop that. It's a little, it's a little draft touch my shit brick. I bump my shit against the wall, brick. I'm going to get bricked. I like to get bricked. I walk around my house butt naked. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I be laid up on the bed, ass tooted up. Not not ass tooted up like this, but I be laid up on the bed. I got my ass out. It's sitting right there jiggling on my phone. My girl walk past. She say, where your pants at? I'm like, bro, I just got out the shower. I like to let my balls dry, my nigga. How is that crazy work? That's crazy. Not tooted up and I'm jiggling it like this. I'm not tooted up jiggling my I'm laid up on the bed. My is just like this. Like, it's just, I, I, my, my, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, just sitting there. Like, my ass cheeks just sitting there. Like, I'm the one slapping in and jiggling my My just there. You might be one of Diddy Disciples, UNC. Nah, I'm not. I'm not Diddy's disciple. Man, f Diddy. I don't walk around with just a shirt on. I ain't gonna lie. I personally think free balling going commando. Is 100% better than wearing under, any underwear. And that's my hot take of the day. It's not even be a hot take. That's my personal opinion. I love free balling and going commando. That shit is so comfortable, bro. I very rarely wear underwear except when I leave the house. Only time I wear underwear is when I got on some jeans and shit. If I got on shorts, if I got on sweatpants, I'm free balling everywhere. My shit be down my kneecap swinging everywhere. I don't give a fuck if I'm checking the mail. I don't give a fuck if I'm going to, the, to Walmart. I don't give a where I'm going, I'm free balling. If I got on some sweatpants, I'm free balling. Because I feel like when you have underwear on, it does nothing but inhabited bacteria. I've been free, I've been, I've been, I free balled before, took off my pants, didn't put no ball deodorant, no deodorant on. Balls don't really stink. It smells like ball sack. Like, you know, it has that musk of like. Mm, I not to the I've never, <laughs> I've never, I've never like, I've, I've never like, <laughs> I've never, I've never walked around and like went underwear on, did, forgot to put the body deodorant on or like deodorant in general and my nuts didn't stink. Underwear makes my balls stink. So I like to sometimes be, you know what I'm saying, free balling my so my balls don't stink. But that's just me though. Nah, I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, free balling. I personally love doing it. I love free balling. You feel what I'm saying? That's just me though. You ain't got to do what I got to do, but the only thing is you got to be careful. Because if you really think about it, sometimes I be laid up on the bed butt ass naked. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be careful because that shit can look a little sus. Like, there's already sus positions to lay in. Like I said, you got the one where you laid up, one leg up like this. Like, you got one ass cheek tooted up in the air. You got to straighten your legs all the way back down. But you got to think about it. If you butt ass naked, that shit looks so wrong. Like, if I was to walk past my room, see auntie laid up like that, one leg up, butt cheek in the air like that, I'm going to say, damn, let's make a baby. So I already know if I'm laid like that position as a grown ass man, it's going to look something crazy. So that's certain position if you butt ass you got to be careful for But like I said, me personally, I'm comfortable with my sexuality. So if I'm laying on you like that, I got one leg up on her, suckling, nestling right now, head on the, on the chest, right now, getting my head rubbed. One leg up, ass cheek out, one sock on. Uh, we got one hole in it, the pinky toe hanging out like this. I don't really care. I'm like, I'm... You know what I'm saying? Like, well, what you want me to do? What you want me to say? I but I wouldn't lay up like that by myself. I would if I lived by myself. I wouldn't lay like that when nobody could take pictures or videos of me because she got some sus pictures or videos of me. Me sitting in this chair butt ass naked. Me laid up with my ass all up. Like women like to take pictures like that to try and demoralize your man, your manhood. Try to emasculate you. You feel what I'm saying? But shit, I like to lay up butt naked. I don't like going to sleep butt naked because that shit feel uncomfortable. If, you have, if you're not a grower and you're a shower, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not a grower, but you're a shower, you got to think about it. Like, there's no really comfortable position to put your dingling. Like, underwear going to hold your dingling in the spot where it need to be at. But if you laying butt naked, that's going to be hanging off the side of your leg like this. It's going to be like this. You're gonna run. So you got to be careful where you're, like, you know what I'm saying? If you butt ass naked going to sleep. That's why I don't sleep. I don't sleep butt naked. I, I sleep with just an uh, underwear on. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't wear boxers no more. I stopped wearing boxers a long time ago. I told you I only wear boxer briefs. I don't even wear boxers no more. Like, them shits, I don't know. I feel like boxer briefs are actually better. Like, how, you know what I'm saying? They add some compression on your thighs and shit. I wear thongs. Hold on, y'all. Hold on right quick, chat. It said, does a straw have one hole or two? You stupid. A straw has one hole. I'm trying to do another debate night. This nigga's stupid, man. Like, you got to think about it. If a, a straw doesn't have two holes because it's literally just cut. So you can't be like one hole, two hole. It's all one singular hole depending on which way you look at it. Now, I'm not going to argue with this. And if any Try to debate me on that. I'm gonna slap the shit out you. You feel what I'm saying? Start saying too, just to be different.
it's one hole it's literally just one hole two openings i like that one hole two openings you go boom boom how the fuck is there two holes it would make more sense if here's the straw a hole a hole right here and it was a hole on the side then you could say that's two holes but there's one singular hole with dual entrances what are we talking about yeah i tried to base somebody that's actually smart but I said no it's two you want to get a timeout? how would you solve world hunger um i would give it a cheeseburger how exactly is world hunger a financial issue i don't even want to sound uneducated is it more so that they can't afford to get food is it, is it a financial issue what exactly greed what exactly is world hunger i want to know what exactly is it? is it is it that they can't afford to get it is it that more so there's no resources because i'm pretty sure if you look around maybe about 50 to 100 miles you could find a gazelle to eat on and i don't even want to be disrespectful it's a resource creation and human nature issue i know i'm gonna eat i don't give a I mean, a boulder burger. Did you hear about Gucci third leg, Unc? I'm heartbroken. What the? F You're heartbroken because another man has hurt? I'm going to take this week with me, man. What are you to be heartbroken about? <sighs> he talking some. What you think about Black Boy Max's stank allegations? For some reason, I'm not gonna lie. For some reason, I feel like a lot of get stank out. I for some reason, I'm trying to say I stink because my my uh, my shirts be having a little bit of deodorant stains. Why do niggas be saying I be niggas try to act like every streamer stinks? I smell delicious. I wash my body twice a day. I brush my teeth, floss, gargle with what what uh what uh Listerine alcohol, tongue scrape. I wash my hair. I get my, my, I cut my nails, my feet. I wash them between my toes. I be washing my entire body twice a day, sometimes three. I wash the inside of my asshole. Listerine be strong as hell. I ain't gonna lie, that shit do be feel like I'm gargling TV static. That shit be like, ah, god damn, that shit be burning. I literally wash the inside of my butthole. Can we see? Get him gone. Thank you. I literally wash my asshole if I have to. I wash myself. Twice a day. Unc, when do you think manhood starts? I feel like manhood starts when you realize that you was never a man like you thought you was. It's not an age. It has nothing to do with age. It's the time period when bills and starts to get real, life starts to get real, and you realize that you weren't a man like you thought you was. You feel me? No, it's not even when you move out your parents. I don't even believe that. I think manhood starts, because you got to think about it. Everything say a man when they first get in with their pops. I thought I was a man. I was sitting right there. I'm sitting right there getting back into my pops. I'm sitting right there. What's up? What? What? We both going like this. I'm sitting right there thinking like this nigga. I'm a man now. Fuck this. Like, what's up? What? What? I'm not a man just because I'm getting into it with my pops. You got to realize manhood don't start until them demons start creeping into your head. When them demons start creeping in your head. When the barrel of a G G17 Gen 3 look like a bank with me. So. In my trunk so you trying to slide a $10 dollar uchendwa. Shut your ass up. So. You got to think about it. When bills start piling up, when real life starts piling up, when people start dying, when you actually have to step up and be your actual man is when manhood starts. Because you got to think about it. Everything is good. You might be able to pay your bills. You might be able to do this, that, and the third. You might be able to do everything that you think you can. But manhood don't start until shit hits the fan and then you got to see what you can do to get yourself out of it. That's what manhood is really about. It's not about you being able to provide. It's about when your back is against the wall and now you have to see what you made of. That's what manhood's all about. Manhood's not about already being a millionaire, taking care of your family and shit like that. That's what you're supposed to do, obviously. Manhood is when shit gets fucked up and you have nobody to turn to. You have no more options to go to. You have no more A, B, C, D, C. You all the way down to your Z of a plan and you have to make some shake like booty meat that's what manhood start you feel what i'm saying because at one point i'm thinking like damn i'm a man now i'm 20 i got my own apartment i only paid the rent on time maybe twice and i lived there for like eight months i don't have i have my own apartment i'm not paying no rent i'm sitting here thinking i'm a man because i'm driving bringing back to the crib and this and the third i'm going to the kitchen and i'm making me uh, uh, I used to make me a big ass tub of crystal light. It was about a big, big ass guy in a sweet tea crystal light. I'm sitting right there thinking, oh, I'm a man now. I go to the gym in my apartment. I'm 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 cooking meals in my air fryer, sitting there watching TV at night. You watch All American at 20. Get your ass up. I wasn't a man then. I'm a man now because when I turned 21, 
22 and shit got real and I was in that hospital doing crystal clinical trials eating that hospital waffles and making my stomach hurt eating hospital cheeseburgers with sweet potato fries and like that my that's when I had to realize I have to be a real man cuz now my parents they not giving me no more rent they not going to help me out like that I'm on the on the on different coast I got to make my happen you feel what I'm saying that's what manhood start. It don't and manhood's not start when you when you think you got you slide in some butt and shit like that. Manhood start when nothing is going your way. Do you feel me? And the up thing that I hate about people talking about manhood is that it's always women that try to tell them how manhood should be. And I hate that. It's always women talking about some. Well, a man needs to do this. Manhood, you're not a man if you don't do this. Bitch, I'm not a man because I don't pay your bills, bitch. I'm a little fucking boy. I'm not gonna let no woman who has never been able to step foot in the shoes tell her what, what manhood is about. Shut the f up. What are you talking about? Talking about some you not a man if you don't pay all the bills. F you. Talk about you not a man if, if my man don't send me a thousand dollars a week. Well, bitch, you about to be broke. That was crazy. I'm keeping it real. What that bastard just say so would you say manhood happened when you got banned manhood was already happening that was just another stepping stone and that was already a down in my career yeah i gotta realize something niggas try to you know what i'm saying use me getting banned against me and try to be you know what i'm saying there's always gonna be up and downs no matter whether or not i'm good in my career there's gonna be a time after this i might blow up super good after this well i'm not might i will 5k concurrent views 10k 20k 30k and then something bad's gonna happen again and there's something good going to happen again. There's something bad happening again. There's something bad happening again. There's something bad happening again. And there's something good happening again. So I'm not worried about, you know what I'm saying? Like, all I can do is control what I can control. So, but when women try to get into a nigga, niggas talking about some, oh, this is what a real man does. Real men need to do this, that, and the third. Well, bitch, what about fucking women, bitch? Because you're 25 with fucking 500 bodies and bum bumps. What are we talking about? You fucked up. Don't try to tell another nigga what, a, what manhood's all about. Bitch, fuck you. I'm a man. That's all I'm saying. Real talk. Talking about how the man's supposed to be. Nigga, I'll make you lick the inside of my asshole. Yeah, that shit was good. I'm saying some hot shit. That's on me, y'all. That's my fault. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me, 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 that's on me. But, you know, a lot of women probably get offended by me saying that because they be like, well, you talk about women all the time, but I never tell you how what womanhood is all about. I just tell you about the shit I've experienced with women trying to make me seem like I'm, I'm this and the third. So I never, t I never, if you've ever watched any of my clips, I never say what women should or shouldn't do or what womanhood is. I've talked about the fucked up things that they have done to me or have done to other men that I know, but I have never once spoken on what womanhood is all about. I never did that. If you go and watch my clips, I've never done that. I just say, hey, don't cheat and be, don't be promiscuous because you are a uh, way more higher value than I am. I, like I said, I always put women on pedestals. Baby, what you got between your legs is more important than anything I can ever offer. If y'all actually watch my clips, it's always my hidden message. I always sit right there and tell a woman how important they are. If you really go back and watch, I'm like, don't do this because how important of what you have and who you are. Look, what are our top five tips every man needs to be successful in life? Great question, right? I'm going to say this right quick. Top five tips every man should be and needs to be uh, successful in life. First one's first. You have to realize after high school, 99.98% of car insurance is 15% or lower at Geico. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, this might good as shit, ain't it? <laughs> Yo, listen. 99.98% of what happens in high school is no longer going to matter when you turn fucking 19 years old. You have to realize something. You are not going to talk to your friends no more. Those couple of bitches that you had won't exist no more. The clout you had in high school is not going to exist. This is when life get real. So top five tips I have to tell you is after high school, it's time to lock the fuck in. If you ain't going to school, cool. Nobody's going to judge you for that. But you have to be putting in some type of work because at one time, you're going to wake up, you're 23. One day, you're going to look up, you're 28. One day, you're going to wake up, you're 35. One day, you're going to wake up, you're 40. And I ain't going to lie. You 40, you eating rock sandwiches and shit while your friends is on yachts, partying, this and the third, and they made their life happen. So you can't sit right there and be the funny guy all the time. Sometimes you're going to put in some work. And for me, I would rather put in work right now while I'm young and can have the energy to do it. So that way I can chill later on. So boom.
Top five tips. Put in some motherfucking work. Just because, like I said, you was the nigga in high school. You pulled up with a three-file fucking Mustang with Flowmaster mufflers on. Everyone was like, ooh, listen to his car. Vroom, vroom. All right, my nigga. You got to move on past that. Because we got Hellcats this shit now. You feel me? So that's number one tip. It's after high school. You got to lock in. Number two tip that I would give men is you will never lose women chasing money, but you'll always lose money chasing women. Now, I've said this before. Are women important? 100%. Do we all like our ball sack tickling and licked on? Oh, nigga, I'm not gay. I love women. But if your main goal is to get more money to get more women, nigga, you're going to always be fucked up and you'll never have your money because all you're going to do is trick and sit right there and pay bitches to lick on your nipples and shit. Now you're spending too much money on women to try. And, and here's the thing. A lot of niggas that do that, they didn't get bitches at first. If you can get bitches broke, you can get bitches with money. The most bitches I ever had in my life was when I was broke, when I didn't have money. That was the most time I had the hoes when I only had negative $22 in my bank account. But since I, since I have money now, or people think, oh, he's in a better position, I just have a larger access, and now I pick and choose. You feel what I'm saying? So you can come to my life when I choose. If I want to drop you, I can go get somebody to replace. Boom, bam, bop. Now it's my game. Now it's my world. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the only thing. Don't, don't chase women, because and, and, you always going to lose money chasing that pussy. Because the pussy always going to be there. That's always going to be there, my nigga. Always. That's always going to be there. So that's my second tip. My third tip, always take care of yourself. Yo, taking care of yourself is one of the most important things of all time. Make sure you shower. Make sure you brush your teeth. Do the things that you don't want to do, my nigga. That's probably number four. Always take care of yourself. Get your hair cut. Learn how to cut your hair if you ain't got the money for it. Clean your motherfucking body, nigga. Cleanliness is next to fucking godliness. Hit the gym. Go to the gym. Even if it's two times, I don't care if you can only go to the gym for two hours one, once a week. Make it happen. Go to the gym. Your health is important. Health is wealth. You don't want to be 26. All you did was vape, drink, smoke. Don't work out. You had a belly. Next, you know, you had Denny's eating brunch. You fucking die in front of your woman. You die in front of your, your brother. You die in front of your family. You die in front of anybody. Because you... You tweak the fuck out. You all you do is say, I can't breathe my lungs. Oh. You in the hospital, lungs fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Work out, my nigga, and do everything in moderation. You shouldn't be smoking or drinking or do too much shit out of moderation. Now, my fourth tip: do the things that you don't want to do, no matter what, how you feel at the moment. Has there been times I didn't want to stream? I'm tired. My head hurt. I'm hungry. I got bills, I got pages, I got to do this, that, and the third. And yet, I still streamed, and guess what? It was the best stream, one of the best streams I ever had in my life. Some of my most iconic clips from back then has been from the times I didn't want to stream. I will take discipline over motivation any day, because you could be a motivated motherfucker and don't let that motivation push you. But a motherfucker who disciplined ain't going to let nothing stop what they got to do, nigga. 100%. I would rather be disciplined than motivated any day. Fuck the motivation. I'm always going to be motivated when I when I to get more money or do this in the third. But every time I put myself in a position to do something when I didn't want to do it, that's the best time I have my life. So you got to do what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it. You feel me? You need motivation to start, discipline to finish. No, the fuck you don't. Shut the fuck up. You don't need motivation to start. You need discipline from start to finish. Because just because you motivated does not mean that you'll go and do it. But if you discipline, you don't give a fuck how bad you feel. You want to get the fuck up and go do it anyway. There's been times I wasn't motivated to stream, but it was my discipline that made me do it. For those 30 days, you don't think there was one time I didn't feel motivated to do it? Of course there was. But I was disciplined enough that I told myself I want to do 30 days straight. So I got the fuck up and let my discipline push me. Nigga, you don't need motivation to start. You need motive, you need discipline to start. Simple. Motivation ain't gonna do nothing but jump start. And this nigga, shut the fuck up, my nigga. Anyways, now number five. Top five tips to be successful. Never stop. Never stop. When I got banned, still didn't stop. Viewers go down, banned, unbanned, still don't stop. Subs not as how they was, still don't stop. TikTok, hundreds, thousands, millions, whatever you want to say, people flipped on you, still don't stop. You're going to have to kill me to get me to stop. You're going to have to kill me. You're going to have to take me off this earth to get me to stop. That's the way I'm always going to be. You have to kill me.
I'm not going to stop. I don't care how many people are against me. I will not stop. So if you want that that dream, don't stop nobody. Don't don't compare yourself to nobody else's book because your chapter is always going to be different. Don't see somebody at 25 with $3 million in their bank account and sit right there at your 24th birthday and think, damn, I'm late behind on life. Because that person's 25 years might be your 40 or your 30 or your 18. You don't know when it's going to happen for you. So you got to keep working because it's going to happen for you if you put in the work. Keeping it real with y'all, my nigga. Um, what do you do when your mom starts to you're the man the house bullshit because you didn't do something? And what's your thoughts on when mothers try to tell you you have to do something because of your gender? Yo, does this CW Flash nigga just be like trauma dumping? Because the questions this nigga asked me has to literally be like literally be like real trauma dump. Because it sounds too specific. This nigga talking about when your mom starts to man the house because you didn't do something. What's your thoughts on when mothers try to tell you to do something because of your gender? Yeah, that's trauma dump, bro. That nigga Goop gave him a cricket. Holy fuck.